Achilles equinus by doing a percutaneous Z plasty of the Achilles tendon. And we also performed a perineus longus tendon length in all soft tissue procedures to get rid of uh, chronic ulcerations on the first metatarsal and also on the fifth metatarsal. These ulcerations have been present for more than one year and actually have resulted in several hospital trips and fairly, fairly expensive medical treatment. We were able to correct this. This is only one month after the surgery and these fairly deep ulcers are already, uh, already healing. So we'll look at his foot right now. This is his foot one month after the surgery. You can see he had fairly large ulceration on the first and the fifth metatarsal and they're already healing up already. And if you look at his foot now, he also get, he's getting a lot more movement in his foot too. He, at first he would had, when I would push up on his foot with the knee extended or even with the knee flexed, we weren't even getting to, to zero. So he had a fairly uh, significant ga gastroxoleus equinus. The way we corrected his uh, condition, if you look under the back of his leg, still see some remnant of the, of the incision. This is where we did the medial portion of the, uh, of the tendon and on the lateral portion here, approximately four centimeters uh, distal of that, where we did the under, underscoring of the tendon to allow Z plasty lengthening. The tendon is totally intact on the top here except for the medial part. So it's, it is, we take advantage of the anatomy of the tendon as the tendon uh, does a 180 degree turn. Uh, this is the lateral incision where we perform the perineus longus tendon lengthening, and this is done just uh, just uh, dorsal to the uh, to the fibular bone, and there's the, both the perineus longus and and perineus brevis are located here. We do the longest uh, lengthening and a Z plasty, and that takes the pressure off the first metatarsal. So we're able to kind of uh, heal his ulcerations. Uh, another thing with him, even though he's neuropathic, these were very painful for him, and he stated that they were extremely painful for him. Now he's absolutely ha having no pain, so the pain is actually uh, resolved as well. But the main thing, we're getting rid of uh, chronic ulcers, which could have led to amputation by uh, performing uh, soft tissue rebalancing. Now, normally we do this with a gastrocnemius recession, but in his case, he does have gastrocnemius soleus equinus, so the Achilles tendon lengthening is more appropriate and obviously uh, doing the job for us here.